Hello friends! Chimtot here, ready for another episode of XCOM. This is the team we've thrown together to go out and see if we can't capture an outsider alien at the large UFO that we just shot down. Away we go! You know, as many times as I've seen the Sky Ranger take off, it just it looks so cool to me every time. I don't know, maybe I'm just a uh, naive, silly, whatever, but I just I like this game. This is so fun. All right, we've got Operation Banished Fall. Our target went down in a remote area, but we have to secure the site before the aliens recover any survivors. Thank you, Bradford. Okay, so we got to be on the lookout for Meld again this time killing any crew we can. Launch the mission. So we could again run into cyber discs on this mission. That's something we haven't uh, we haven't fought anywhere outside of the the big gangplank ship that we went into. Let's see what we've got. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Can't tell exactly where the crash site actually is this time. It's pretty big, so I think we're definitely going to be working our way kind of uh, north and, and west, as it were, here on the screen. Um, bow tie. Okay, we're going to move. Okay. I think I'll pull you out front first, see if you can see anything. All right. So that's definitely the ship right there. So I guess right behind this tree would be a good spot for Warlock. So I know, it's a little risky, but, uh, oh, I kind of want to do it all in one, all in one run. Let's not do it all in one. Let's go ahead and play the right way. By the right way, I mean the safe way. Moves <laughs> in and out here. Affirmative. If there is ever a time to run, you know what? We'll put him right here for now. We won't get too crazy. We'll just move him a little farther. Nothing? 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 Okay, we're safe. Put everyone else in the watch. Just sounds like Thin Man, honestly. Okay, so we've got one meld that way and one meld that way. This is a good spot for Bowtie to set up. We'll send Pollo this direction. Moving. Canister sighted. Good. And we will send, uh, I guess we'll send a Zonin with him. Well, here's a decent ahead. spot. I guess Calypso. On it. We'll move the other guys the other direction. Give. All right. Scanning. Watch. Roger. Retreat. Get out of his pistol. All righty. Still no sign of aliens there, we can hear some. Shh, you hear that? I hate to leave him here in half cover, but... Okay, we did not discover any aliens there. Let's go ahead and move him up again. Okay, we still don't see any. That's... a little frightening, I guess? <laughs> We'll move Pepe Pollo right up here next to him just in case he needs some support in the next turn. And, uh. Yeah. Calypso in the corner. Moving on target location. Alright, we'll get the big rifle back out. We'll keep moving these guys a little bit at a time to see if we can find the next meld. Again, I don't really want to wake up any aliens. There's the other meld. 
Well, it's right next to the building, isn't it? That's full cover. We shouldn't be able to see anything there. Wow, both of the melds expire at the same time on this mission. That's kind of brutal. Alright, anything gonna happen here? Nope. Okay. Linky Asian can get there on a running gun. Cannot. Zenden can get there. Run him in there and see if he needs to run away. No. So we may just be going in this time. The, the aliens may be. They may be just content sitting in their little spaceship waiting on us. Which makes me a little bit more nervous than I want to admit. <laughs> oh, that was a misclick. Yep. Okay, at least it's uh, Seekers, you know, not that I really want to get eaten by a Seeker, but... Um, you know, at least with Seekers we can go into Overwatch and be okay. Can, can he see someone? He's considered to be flanked. Alright, so now we get these guys into Overwatch. I'm watching. And they should be able to watch out for each other. I guess the Zendon's the only one we've really got in a bad spot right now. Yeah, he doesn't stand a chance. Wow, I think uh, Bowtie took him out by himself. <laughs> There's the other one. Oh, is he gonna shoot? He decided to... Holy cow, that was lucky. That was extremely lucky. Um, bow tie. 78%. Let's soften him up. Maybe accidentally kill him. Ha ha ha. Alright, pick that up. I'd rather us breach this all together if we can. So, let's move up a little bit at a time here. I misclicked again. I'm gonna have to slow down. I keep misclicking here. Let's see, Calypso, put you behind this. It's full cover. Ooh, floaters! Huh. Okay, we get back behind cover here. Can I hit all of them? Can I hit two of them? Can we get we can get two of them? Let's uh, let's put it right there in the middle. You know, yeah, let's do this. Come on, Exonin. Nice. Very good. So, with killing those two, he's still in half cover. That's okay, because... Hopefully, Jefe Pollo can clean up the last one. And even if he doesn't get the kill here, he should be a more favorable target than the other two. 83. That's a pretty darn good shot. Very nice. Okay, very good. Draining ammo fast. Yeah, no, draining ammo fast. Okay, nobody hears aliens. So, we will move Poyo right into this position. And we'll reload. Locked and loaded. Do. All right, now we'll slowly get ourselves into position. We're going to breach this alien ship. We're going to find the outsider in there. 
We're gonna take him home with us. What's the plan, anyway? Only time will tell if that's how it actually plays out. I guess we'll just sit up right there for now. Alright. Let's see, do we need to take a turn to reload anyone? I'm zoning. Yeah, we're gonna reload. You just can never can be too careful, I suppose. I wonder if the outsider is the only thing we have left. If so, that would be kind of crazy. There's something out there. I don't think so, because I don't think I don't think the other aliens move. I'm on the move. All right, let's see what we can see. Putting him right here. Nothing. Okay. Well, at least we know it's safe to move everyone up. Send in. Alright. Is that it? That's the last guy. Zone and we need to move up in here. Scatto. Okay, show la zone. Ice field, Commander. We'll just hunker him down. Okay, we definitely hear him. Shh. You hear that? out in the middle of here. See if we wake anyone up. No, we do not wake anyone up. Wonder if he's in here. He could be in that room. Back here. I really expect him to be in this room. That's that's really where I expect him to be. So let's get set up with our two um, our two uh, runners here. We've got our heavies. I mean, there's no reason we can't actually work our way around to the other side. I will do that. As long as we don't actually you know, accidentally run through the uh, <laughs> run through the con room there that we're trying to sneak up on. Which seems like exactly the type of thing I would accidentally do. Alright. Let's see if we hear him again. Okay, we did not hear him, which is interesting. Lanky Asian. We're gonna set you. Don't, I don't want you running through there, dude. In yeah, that's better. Alright, and then Hefe Pollo will come over here. Bow tie, I'm actually pretty happy with where he is, I think. Calypso right here. Zona, and here I am trying to, you know, make everything symmetrical again. Because <laughs> that's just apparently what I do. And I guess we'll set bow tie. We'll set bow tie right here. I'll watch everyone we can. Okay, now we'll get ready to breach. Like I said, I'm really, really hoping that this uh, 
Oh, well, we're going the wrong way. We'll open the door anyway. We'll make sure we're not overlooking something. Okay. There is no baddie in there. Which means he's got to be over here, I suppose. So, we want to put... Zenden right here. Eclipse on Understood. the corner. Moving out. Bow tie around the corner. Zone on the other side. If I pull you with this rail gun in the middle. And the lanky Asian right there. Overwatch everyone we can. Let's see if we hear them. They didn't make any noise this time. Let's open the door. See what we got. We should make There's our outsider. To one of those creatures using the arc thrower. There doesn't seem to be much left when we attack outright. All right. Where is? Where is he? Zenden, I need you to get in there. I need you to zap that guy in the head. You don't have the arc thrower. Who has the arc thrower? <laughs> Lanky Asian has the arc thrower. Okay. Lanky Asian, I want you to get in there. Okay. <laughs> and zap him in the head. Come on. 70% chance. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty happy with the way that mission went. I know it's just a UFO crash site, but you know, taking out all the aliens, getting both the meld canisters was actually an accomplishment on that mission, and then uh, taking the the outsider was a huge deal. So, again, those of you who are here just for the the battle missions, thank you for watching. We're going back to the base. All right. And I have actually seen this cutscene, but I'm going to let it Is play. that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... Perhaps... That's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is I feel like is Dr. Shen is an enigma. They can't decide what nationality he is. Can we trace it? Because no. the, the, his picture on his badge yet. does not match we'll first need his to actual the like, algorithm. character model. My team can handle that. In that case... And the more I get into the game, like when I first started playing, Dr. Vollen just made me crazy. I should sort of throw, you know, don't throw explosives at the, at the aliens. And then I just made me so mad. I want to throw the explosives back at her. But the more I watch and the more I see how the story develops, I actually like her a lot. So, uh, alright, Calypso, Colonel. So we can choose between Rocketeer or Mayhem. So Mayhem is additional damage. Uh, based on weapon tech level to suppression. We don't care about suppression. But area of effect abilities is nice. Or an additional rocket. I honestly think I have to take an additional rocket because that just sounds too good to pass up. We've got Exonin promoted to LT. Okay, so we can do Field Medic or we can do Suppression. Um, honestly, Suppression is probably a pretty good pick with Exonum because his aim's not that high. So that's what we've got for those guys. We picked up a couple more things. Uh, we did damage a couple of power sources and that's okay because that means more money. We're gonna pop over here to the situation room. We're gonna go to the gray market and we're going to sell the damaged things for a hundred credits which is awesome because now what could we buy with that 100 credits? There's a lot of stuff. Specifically, we can go to the foundry and we can do... Uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? That's what I really want to do, but apparently we need more muton corpses. 
Um, improved pistol would be nice. I think we're gonna upgrade our scopes. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade our scopes. The foundry is already warmed up. Very I'll good. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Thank you. Back to mission control. Do a little more scanning. So our gene modification is done. There's another achievement for us. This is another cutscene I've never seen, so I'm looking forward to it. Kind of warfare. Our soldiers were already humanity's best warriors. <laughs> now, it's a little bit Darth Vader weapons, there, isn't it? We can make their strengths our own. Very cool. Very cool. Alright, so gene modification is done. We're almost ready to go in and uh, grab our covert off. Satellite coverage now available over Canada. All right. We'll send in the extraction squad. We are confident that you will handle this better. With and let's discretion. see. I think um, we'll decide what crew to take here. Um, we'll decide what crew to take here in the next video. I'm probably going to leave some of the really high rank colonels uh, behind. And we're going to take some of the other guys and see if we can get them leveled up a little bit. Uh, because I have a feeling that the, as the game progresses, we're going to start getting more and more injuries. It's going to be really important to have a really balanced squad. So uh, I will just, in the in the meantime, clear these guys out. And uh, thank you guys so much for coming out to watch the video. As normal, uh, if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me why you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to see more XCOM or more video games. Um, just... I just appreciate you guys being here, taking the time to watch my video, and we will talk to you next time.